right now from Milwaukee, this is today's TMJ4 Live at Noon. Wouldn't this be a great place for a national political convention? Well, that worked out. Right now, live at noon, the long-awaited news has come. Milwaukee will host the 2020 Democratic National Convention. Timing is everything. A tweet sent out from the Milwaukee's DNC bid account says Milwaukee's political moment has arrived. They also shared the news on their official website with a simple heading that read, We Won. It was considered a long shot, but Milwaukee has emerged as the winner. Bruce City beating out Miami Beach, Houston, with the largest metro areas to land the big gig. Yeah, this news coming down just before 10 o'clock this morning. The 2020 Democratic National Convention will be held July 13th through the 16th next year. DNC Chairman Tom Perez is on his way to Milwaukee. We anticipate a news conference this afternoon. Now, Charles Benson has been following this from the very beginning, yep. every step of the way. Now, this really elevates Milwaukee in the standing, not only nationally, but on the political stage. Clearly a big win for the city, potentially a big win for Democrats, and also just a huge opportunity. In fact, here's what the DNC chair, Tom Perez, said. The Democratic Party is the party of working people, and Milwaukee is a city of working people. We saw in this last election what we can accomplish when we come together, invest, and fight for working people and that was proven right here in Wisconsin. I want to thank the leaders of Houston and Miami for all their hard work throughout this process. Uh, from the get-go, he also says they both put forward uh, competitive proposals and I'm sure will lead them to hosting future conventions. There's a lot of confidence in us. Uh, a lot of confidence. This is a, was a huge lift for the city of Milwaukee. Not anything like this ever done before and so they were wondering could they meet the all the demands of the hotel space 15,000 was what they were looking for and then the guaranteed uh, 15,000 spots clearly Houston and Miami Beach had far more than that but I go back to the narrative you heard Perez the chair talk about that that was a big part of it 2016 very much on the minds of Democrats because they lost the state to Donald Trump they want to win the state back in 2020 that will be front and center but I'm telling you between now and July 2020 they yes they've got this win but they've got a lot of work in front of them quick question on the politics of it it's it's not just that the Democrats lost this state Charles but how they lost it who they lost specifically. If there are folks who are on, on the bid committee in Miami Beach or in Houston who are looking at Milwaukee and don't know why this was the choice, they're in the wrong job. Well, uh, Miami not happy with the decision. Florida, always a key battleground state. You're going to hear from uh, some reaction out of Miami. Houston seemed to be the longer shot in terms of Democrats because, uh, you know, Texas is a big red state. But uh, for Milwaukee to go forward here without the Pfizer form, without the, all the new development in downtown Milwaukee, this would not have been possible even five years ago. And we'll talk more about that later on throughout the newscast. But we want to shift it now to Sean Gallagher at Pfizer Forum, where Tom Barrett, our mayor, gave the State of the City address this morning. And, Sean, that was before the mayor actually found out. You were there, though, when the mayor heard for himself that the DNC was, in fact, coming. Yeah, Vincent Shannon, it was kind of a surreal moment. We were told after the State of the City, the mayor would have media availability and told he would be about five minutes. About ten minutes passed by and we were told it would be another five minutes or so. And then I saw the mayor was whisked away to the deep bowels of Pfizer Forum on a cell phone. And when he emerged just a few minutes after that, it was to uproarious applause, seemingly having just gotten that news that Milwaukee won the DNC bid. But when he came over to talk to the media, the mayor rather playing a little bit coy. Well, I'm positive that that's not fake news. Uh, um, again, I, I, we will have a formal announcement later today um, as to what's going on. I, if, in fact, it's true, I am ecstatic. I am ecstatic if that is true. And, and my view is, um, this is this is a city that fights back. And, and, and I think hosting the first ever political convention for a major party in this city's history is monumental. How much did today serve as an audition to show, hey, we can really do this? Oh, I think that the audition has been going on for the last year. We have spent countless hours working with the DNC and its staff. We have spent a lot of time working with them, um, and they've had a, a real great, great process. 
and that audition going on for much the last year, like Mayor Tom Barrett said. But five serve forum, really the icing on the cake, showing that Milwaukee can host in a place that is just as beautiful as here. Now, the theme for the state of the city was Milwaukee fights back, something Mayor Barrett hinted at for why Milwaukee won this bid, getting it over two much larger areas. Uh, and just like Charles had said before, two areas that seemingly could have been a better fit, uh, especially in the political landscape of things. But again, Milwaukee coming out on top. Live inside Fiserv mm -hmm. Forum, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4. You know, and Sean, we were talking earlier, I was at an event with the mayor last week for the Milwaukee Business Journal, sitting with him, asking him, are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? What are you hearing? He had a great deal of confidence, but it also seemed like he was not real sure what sort of behind the scenes hijinks was going on with some of these other cities, particularly Miami Beach making a strong play. Yeah, definitely didn't want to count his chickens before they hatched. Right. But I can tell you when I saw Mayor Barrett earlier, he was grinning ear to ear. He could barely contain himself, but he still didn't want to put the cart ahead of the horse. He's going to wait till that 1.30 news conference where they will formally announce that uh, Milwaukee has got this DNC bit. All right, Sean Gallagher live inside Pfizer Forum. Appreciate the folks there putting the logo up, too. That was and a very, again, very nice touch. It was a very nice touch. <laughs> we talk about how this will impact our city, and it, rip, it has a rippling effect when we talk about businesses. Mary Jo Ola is with us downtown to give us that perspective of what business owners are thinking now. Hey, good afternoon, guys. You know, business owners I talked to you today are ecstatic. They're excited, especially the folks just near Pfizer Forum, like Wisconsin Cheese Mart that we're at today, as well as some of the folks on the outlying areas. Everyone's just excited for the big boom in business to come. And with us this morning is actually uh, Jack Daly. He's a cheesemonger here at Wisconsin Cheese Mart. Jack, I know you've been waiting to hear the news. Your first reaction when you found out that the DNC will be in Milwaukee in 2020. This is huge for Milwaukee. We're going to have a huge boom in business, especially in the Old World 3rd Street area. Uh, in Philadelphia in 2012, they had an estimated $250 million brought into the city. So we're expecting similar numbers to that. 50,000 people are going to be at the Pfizer Forum for three days straight. When they're at Pfizer Forum, they're going to be thinking back to their families about, oh, we need to pick up cheese and bring cheese home. They're going to look outside. We're right here. So we potentially have 50,000 customers that are going to be coming in here, taking cheese home to their families. And we can spread that Wisconsin cheese message all four corners of the United States. I would say you guys have a pretty a good advantage here as far as being a block, if even that, away from Pfizer Forum. I mean, just looking at the business where you guys have come, what do you guys see uh, for what's next with this big news today? Well, in the last couple of years, we've expanded a lot. We used to only have one cheese case here. Now we have two cheese cases. So we've got, it's 48 feet of cheese case. So we're expecting even more cheese. We've got some more stuff working on in the future. But expansion, 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 we, we've got room for it. And now with these thousands of people uh, slated to come to Milwaukee, I mean, if they're not familiar with Milwaukee, with the Cheese Mart in Wisconsin, what do you want these potential customers to know now? Well, if we can get these people to know about Milwaukee's culture, we have cheese, we have beer, all the great breweries out here. We have amazing sports teams, brewers, bucks, admirals. And I just want to get people here to see the cheese. This is Wisconsin's cheese. We're America's dairy land. So. How, does, uh, how does cheese travel, though, for these folks? Cheese travels amazingly well. A lot of people are shocked by that. But cheese can actually sit out if it's packaged at room temperature for about five days. So you have you can come here, forget it in your car, and get it home, and you'll you'll still be fine. All right, Jack, thanks so much. Thank you so much, Rachel. All right, so again, lots of businesses in downtown Milwaukee. Very excited about this news. I will send it back to you guys in the studio. Hey, Mary Jo, I would like for you to ask, though, when we think about how this will impact businesses, security is a big thing that will happen in that area. Has he thought about how he'll deal with the security, or have they even started talking with him about security during the DNC? Uh, you know what, the folks I've talked to before this have not, but I, I'll ask Jack, you know, Jack, as far as security, you're going to have thousands of people coming in and around here. Is that a concern? Have you guys talked about that to prepare for those concerns? Uh, you're the first person breaking that to me, so I will have to think about that. Luckily, I have about a year and some change to work on it. Uh, we do have a pretty big staff here, so we will be increasing our staffing definitely throughout that whole week. Um, so right now, we just have two people working, but it's a pretty slow day. But on days like that, we can have four or five people working in here. So. Okay. Yeah. All right, Jack, thanks so much. Thank you so much. All right, hope that helps. All right, thanks, Mary Jo. We appreciate that. DNC is obviously going to have a large impact on people who live and work in Milwaukee and really out into the surrounding communities. Yes, yeah, so Ben Jordan, we want to know what are people thinking about who are living close to Pfizer Forum and in that zone where the DNC will take place in the summer of 2020? Vincent Shannon, there aren't too many people out and about on this windy Monday morning. However, those who we've spoke with say they are ecstatic. It's a word that you've heard a lot in this newscast from Mayor Barrett and just in Mary Jo's 
uh, live shot, but it is the one word that comes to mind. This is going to be the center of all of the action for those four days in July of 2020. And one thing people are saying is this shows that that uh, Pfizer Forum is already paying dividends and it's just it's short time of being right here. The event is expected to bring up to $200 million to our city and the surrounding area. And we're just 16 months out. So you've got to think the preparations are going to be coming soon. What do you think is going to need to happen to get Milwaukee ready for this huge event? Lots of security. I mean, uh, it's going to be a, a ton of traffic, probably more traffic than we've we've uh, seen in quite some time. We're talking Summerfest, State Fair type of attraction, even more. Uh, so definitely beef up on the security uh, and, you know, just opening up the city, showing everybody, showcasing the city. One of the big questions down here in this area is what's going to replace the Bradley Center once it comes down? We still haven't heard exactly what will replace it, whether that be apartments, screen space, or hotels. We'll just have to wait and see, but that is going to be a big deal for this area and the DNC. Live outside Pfizer Forum, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4. Ben Jordan, downtown for us. Ben, appreciate that. And we'll be right back. Here we are again, seeking answers to the same old questions. It was one small ember that torched this entire neighborhood. Any idea how long you'll be here? No. I don't want her to become an adult and live her life like this. The entire apartment complex is falling apart. We also see logistics. Yeah. News investigation. If you like amazing deals, you're going to love our newest sale. Stop into Malkin's Flooring before March 31st and save big on Mohawk, the perfect carpets for families with kids and pets. At Malkin's Flooring in Menominee Falls, we're creating raving fans every day. With TCF free checking, it's easy to check your balance. In case your other half, it's your half. I found a woman. She took my love. Life takes planning. TCF Bank is here to help. TCF Bank makes it easy to track savings goals so you can plan your dream vacation. And his, too. Little situation. Life needs your attention. TCF Bank is here to help. I love game night. They canceled. They couldn't get a sitter. How are you not getting this? Any guesses? A llama and a buggy. Bam! I hereby conquer Australia. It's about time. Whoa! What do you have? What's up? Because we're playing on carpet. They got a sitter. They're on their way. I'll clean. I'll get more food. Okay. Deets and Watson. It's, it's a, a family, family thing. thing. We knew adding to our family through adoption was going to be difficult but rewarding. Lily was born addicted to opiates and had to struggle through withdrawal in my arms. But today, she's a happy, healthy little girl. Adopting Lily has brought home the opioid crisis and how it affects families in such significant ways. We need to show compassion, but we also need to hold people accountable. And that's exactly what I'll do on the Wisconsin Supreme Court. Judge Brian Hagedorn for Supreme Court. For the best selection of reclining furniture, come to Bill Bright. Sofas, love seats, sectionals, chairs, power lift chairs, power motion, and more made in the USA. Whether you want to recline, lift, swivel, or glide, you'll find quality furniture that moves you at Bill Bright. So buy local. Well, I was raised to care about people, and when people get hurt, I can take on the big guys and level the playing field for the little guys, and that makes me feel real good about what I do. If you've been wrongly injured, please give us a call. If you like amazing deals, you're going to love our newest sale. Stop into Malkin's Flooring before March 31st and save big on Mohawk, the perfect carpets for families with kids and pets. At Malkin's Flooring in Menominee Falls, we're creating raving fans every day. 14 minutes after the noon hour on today's TMJ4 Live, look coming to us from inside Pfizer Forum, which in July of 2020 is going to look a lot different than this. It will be decked out as Milwaukee will host the Democratic National Convention. 
Oh, and then, you know, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. This one right here, if you can see it, it's Mayor Barrett smiling from ear to ear as he says he's just received a call from Chairman Tom Perez informing him that his city will host the 2020 DNC. All right, what about the Republicans? Former Governor Scott Walker took to Twitter with his reaction to the DNC coming to Milwaukee. So he tweeted, who would have known that part of our legacy building Pfizer form without a tax increase would lead to the DNC picking Milwaukee for their convention? Social media has lit up with reaction on the DNC coming to Milwaukee. Our Lauren Linder is uh, live in our newsroom with more on what we're seeing online. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Vince and Shannon. From the moment the news broke, social media was buzzing local leaders, politicians, businesses, and just everyday people reacting to the announcement. Senator Tammy Baldwin tweeted out this video. It is so wonderful to know that we will nominate the next president of the United States right in Wisconsin. Congratulations, and now let's get to work. And here at home, Mayor Tom Barrett tweeted his excitement that this will mark the first time in the history of the city and the state we will be hosting a major poli a major party national political convention. The newly elected congressman, Brian Stile, tweeted saying, DNC, welcome to Wisconsin. Come for the cheese curds. Stay for the record unemployment rate. And the city clerk joked, so is something up? Well, there's a lot of reactions happening on social media. They're coming through every minute. We'll continue to keep you updated. But for now, back to you guys in the studio. All right. Well, one of the major questions surrounding the DNC has always been for Milwaukee getting chosen was hotels. Do we have enough hotel space? Our Adriana Mendez has been looking into that. She joins us live from the Iron Horse Hotel with their reaction with this news. Hi, Adriana. <laughs> Hey, well, they are excited and thrilled here at the Iron Horse Hotel. They have 100 rooms, but during the DNC, they have 75 of those rooms blocked off specifically for that event. Now, all bidding cities were asked to provide 15,000 rooms within 20 minutes or less of the convention site. Visit Milwaukee estimates the city has 18,000 rooms in the metro Milwaukee area. Over at Potawatomi Hotel and Casino, they have allocated 500 of their rooms in all of their meeting spaces specifically for the DNC. Both hotels say this is going to have a huge impact on the city of Milwaukee. Everyone's thrilled. Everyone's really excited that the city got the bid. Uh, it's definitely uh, a great display of uh, collective teamwork in the hotel community. I think that was one of the major points was sort of the, the supply in the city of Milwaukee as far as the demand for hosting a, a convention and uh, everyone came together. And the next steps for the hotels will to speak specifically with DNC officials to see which delegates will stay at their hotels. Reporting live near downtown Milwaukee, Adriana Mendez stays TM24. All right, Adriana, thanks. You know, talking to folks who are making this bid, they said, look, we have to make the case that whether it's eastern uh, Waukesha County or northern Racine County, that's still part of our area. And Those we can hotels make it count. Right, exactly. <laughs> We're back right after this. Right now, take advantage of great Auto Show deals. Use Auto Show Cash to get $1,000 cash allowance on most well equipped Traverse models. Visit WisconsinDriveChevy.com. Making someone hear their wife's voice better, hear their grandchildren better, and engage in the conversation to change someone's life for the better. That's an unbelievable feeling. Visit Hard Hearing Care Center for your free screening today. Hear the difference you've been missing. Live from the Starlight Lounge. One plus one equals two. Little too late. A soccer bam boom. Who's in the room? Love is dangerous. But driving safe means you pay less. Switch and save. Yes, man. Excuse me, miss. Does this heart belong to you? Would you like it anyway? Scoodly doo ba 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 ba. When you suspect your loved one has been a victim of nursing home abuse, PKSD is here to help. For over 25 years, I've been there for families in Wisconsin. Call 333-3333 for the PKSD guarantee. So I want my glasses to be unique. My girlfriend loves artists. And I need a conservative pair because her parents hate artists. <laughs> Get up to 40% off a second pair of glasses. 
Schedule your eye exam at pearlvision.com. Jay, before you put your money on a racehorse, you have to check their track record. That's right, Rick. You should do the same with any company working on your house. Rhino Shield's proven track record is why tens of thousands of homeowners and businesses choose Rhino Shield over paint. With Rhino Shield, you'll never have to paint again. Check out our record and call by the 25th to get 25% off and a 25 year warranty. Never paint your house again. Rhino Shield! When people first discover that they have a hearing loss or start to experience a hearing loss, it can be very frustrating. So I just try to approach it in a very soft, respectful, and delicate way. Visit Hard Hearing Care Center for your free screening today. Hear the difference you've been missing. When you see breaking news, call the Today's TMJ4 tip line at 414-963-4444 or email news at tmj4.com. Brought to you by Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. I'm Vince Petrano. And I'm Susan Kim. A chili sauce. We, we, we are Milwaukee. Where morning people are getting it done. I'll do the rest of your car for 10 bucks. Let's get today started. Live at daybreak. Proud to be Milwaukee's morning news team. Other than the DNC happening in Milwaukee, it's weather. Sure, right. Well, weather was credited, Brian, for, you know, our wonderful weather in July. One of the reasons that we got it over Miami Beach versus, uh, or, or Houston. It's the hotels. Charles is going to say uh, it's the uh, convention again uh, being a 2020 big important election here in the state. But I'm going to say uh, weather had a factor for sure. All right, Milwaukee temperatures. This is comparing the cities here. You can see the city of Milwaukee, 80 degrees, average high temperature in July. How about Houston, 94 degrees, a very humid 94 degrees. Um, Miami also at 91, a very, very humid 91 degrees. And as far as precipitation goes, we have the lesser, the lesser of the rain out of the three cities. Milwaukee, 3.67 inches of rain in July. Compare that to Miami, almost double that, 6.5 inches of rain in July. So weather, we can make the case here in Milwaukee as well. All right, this is a live look in downtown Milwaukee. Not too bad of a day here right now. It's 33 degrees. Yes, a little on the cool side, especially when you factor in the wind out of the west at 16 miles per hour. Weather headlines as we go through them here. Sunshine the next two days. Soggy by midweek. Shooting for 60. Yeah, 60 possible by Thursday. Storm 4 Max radar across southeastern Wisconsin. We had some clouds uh, if we throw in the satellite here from Milwaukee south during the morning hours. Those are departing as we widen the view. High pressure giving us lots of sunshine through our day today. Future forecast, we go through it here into the evening, 6 o'clock. Again, a lot of sunshine to end the day as well. By midnight tonight, mainly clear skies during the day on Tuesday. Again, we're looking at a mainly clear sky during the day on Tuesday, right on into Tuesday night. We have clouds increasing, and I would say by 9 o'clock Tuesday night, we start to see some showers pushing in, and then rain becomes pretty likely Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning. Okay, your forecast for today, the remainder of today, a high temperature of 36, mostly sunny skies. For tonight, a low temperature, getting chilly again. Clear skies, lighter winds tonight, down to 18 degrees in Milwaukee, inland 13. Here's your seven-day four. Tuesday, partly cloudy, 44. 48 on Wednesday. Now some showers again Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning. Up to 58 on Thursday, and I really think we got a good chance of hitting 60 at least away from Lake Michigan on Thursday with some showers likely, though. So, unfortunately, kind of a trade off there. 38 on Friday with a few flurries, 38 on Saturday, and then St. Patrick's Day, maybe some snow showers with a temperature of 37 degrees. Shannon and Vince. All right, thank you for that. Well, Cleveland hosted the Republican National Convention in 2016. So we recently spoke with the president of the Cleveland 2016 host committee, David Gilbert. Alicia, Elise Preston is joining us now live from the newsroom with his input. Hey guys, good afternoon. Cleveland and Milwaukee have many more similarities behind being host to a national political stage. The cities are around the same size, have similar makeups when it comes to the demographics, and with Wisconsin going red the last presidential election, we are now considered a swing state, just like Ohio. Gilbert says being a host is good for the city regardless of politics, adding that a community-wide effort of hard work goes into hosting. I think, um, one, it takes a lot out of a community to do this, to really do it well. Um, if you look at it as a true community opportunity and not just a chance to fill hotels or, or uh, um, or add some economic value. 
um, to really have the community go all in and make the most out of it, of that opportunity. Um, just know going in, it takes, a, it takes a tremendous cooperative effort. Now, Gilbert says hosting the convention helped push the infrastructure of Cleveland. There were plans to renovate the airport and build a new convention center, while hosting the RNC accelerated the timeline for those projects. Shannon, Vince? All right, thank you, Elise, for that update. We'll have much more on this announcement again. Milwaukee receiving the 2020 Democratic National Convention. Back right after this. Having basement problems? McCoy Contractors has repaired over 10,000 basements. If you have concerns, call McCoy. McCoy, the trusted name. Right now, you can double up with two for 22 at Dickie's Barbecue Pit. That's two two-meat plates, each with two sides and a buttery roll for only 22 bucks. For a limited time only, visit Dickies.com or use our app, Legit Texas Barbecue. Applying for Social Security Disability? Get help. Call the law office of Robert Hoagland, one of the largest disability firms in Wisconsin. A Social Security attorney will meet with you in your home or at an office location near you. No fees unless we win. Get a free smartphone with U.S. Cellular prepaid. Oh, yes. You need this one. No, I can't. Money's tight. I need a new phone. Yes, you can. Switch to U.S. Cellular prepaid and you'll get a free smartphone. No way. I never thought of U.S. Cellular prepaid. Then I can spend my tax return on what you love. Yeah. Right now, get a free smartphone with U.S. Cellular prepaid, plus a strong signal with national coverage. Wisconsin deserves fair and impartial courts, but that's not what they get from Judge Brian Hagedorn. He worked alongside an extremist hate group to try and strip hospital visitation rights away from gay partners. He got a free junket to Mexico while personally pocketing thousands from the hate group. And Hagedorn helps run a new school that bans students, teachers, and parents for being gay. Ask Judge Brian Hagedorn, with views like this, how can he possibly be fair? At Eon Clinics, we know that a smile can change your life. Our dental implants let you start a new chapter with a stunning set of teeth. When you have that smile again, that's really important. A smile is a sign of hope. Restore your oral health and lift your spirit. Allow Eon Clinics to give you an inspirational smile. I love my new teeth. 844-365-SMILE or visit our website at eonclinics.com. Update your floors with Empire Today's $50 room sale. Buy one room, get floors for all other rooms for just $50 each. So when you buy one room, it's only $50 for laminate in the kitchen, $50 for carpet in the bedroom, and $50 for hardwood in the office. There's no limit. Buy one room and it's $50 for floors in each additional room. Schedule now. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE. Today. Social Security benefits denied? Get help. Call the law office of Robert Hoagland, one of the largest disability firms in Wisconsin. A Social Security attorney will meet with you in your home or at an office location near you. No fees unless we win. Long before the craving hit you, when nothing else will do but Texas barbecue, we were way ahead of you. Dickie's Barbecue Pit satisfies your craving, delivered where you want it, when you want it. Order online or use our app, Dickie's Delivers. Well, political conventions have the potential to bring hundreds of millions of dollars into their host cities. But the I-Team's Casey Geraldo breaks down if they live up to the hype. Both the 2016 conventions brought in millions and put people to work, but in the end, both fell short of the money some thought they could bring in. The 2016 DNC in Philadelphia had a $230 million impact, short of a $350 projection, bringing in 54,000 visitors to the city. The RNC in Cleveland reportedly brought in $188 million, also missing projections of $200 million. The other question, sure, it'll bring in money, but what will it cost? According to one study, a federal grant chipped in almost $50 million at both conventions for security. Cleveland raised $66 million for prepping the city and staging the convention. 
and Federal Election Commission filings show the committee in Philly raised more than $85 million, spending more than $75 million. We reached out to the Milwaukee Police Department, Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office, and State Patrol to see what getting the convention might cost in law enforcement overtime. Milwaukee Police told us they would begin conversations as soon as this announcement came out. State Patrol also hadn't started the conversation. Casey Geraldo, today's TMJ4. Breaking down the numbers. All right, Casey, thank you. And we'll be right back with more on Milwaukee hosting the 2020 DNC. Right now, get up to $1,000 auto show bonus cash on select 2018 and 2019 Chevy models on top of most current offers. Visit WisconsinDriveChevy.com. I was hit by a drunk driver, and the insurance company kept giving me the runaround. I had medical bills and time off from work. If you've been hurt in a car, call GLR. We help injured people get what they deserve. Pick up the phone and just dial sevens. Benny is Krause Funeral Home's second therapy dog. He's helping families right where Oliver left off. Available for any visitation or service, Benny has a way of making any tension in the room simply melt away. His gentle nudge, those big brown eyes, and joyful spirit let you know everything will be all right. Ask for Benny, only at Krause. You may find man's best friend is perfect during one of life's worst moments. Look, isn't that Frank Thomas? <laughs> the big hurt. More like the big hunk. <laughs> wow, Frank Thomas. Hi, how's it going? Good. You look like you could still be playing. That's what I said. Well, I am feeling stronger and leaner. So, Frank, what's your secret? I discovered Nugenics. I wish my husband did. It's easy. Just send a text. If you're a guy over 40, text 42424 and enter the word SHARE to get a complimentary bottle of award-winning Nugenics, the number one selling free testosterone booster at GNC. Nugenics is a unique man-boosting formula powered by Testofen, a patented key ingredient clinically researched to help boost your free testosterone levels, to help you feel stronger, leaner, with more energy and drive, more passion, too. Here, try a bottle, and trust me, She'll like it too. Text 42424 and enter SHARE to get a complimentary bottle of Nugenics. Samples are not available in stores, so text 42424 and enter S-H-A-R-E. Welcome to Rich's House of Cakes, where customers can design their own cakes for every occasion. All our cakes are made from scratch with fresh natural ingredients. For the best tasting cakes and pastries, serve the quality your guests deserve from Rich's House of Cakes. If you want a good night's sleep, then you've got to get to Built Right today. You can't beat a Made in the USA flippable mattress available only at Built Right. With regular flipping and turning, a flippable mattress provides you years of restful, rejuvenating sleep. So sleep right and buy local at Built Right. When you've been injured, you need a team on your side that you can trust. Call our hometown firm, Wisconsin's own Gruber Law Offices. Proud partner of the Milwaukee Brewers. One call, that's all. The Storm Team 4 7-Day Forecast is sponsored by Aurora Healthcare. Right now, from Milwaukee, this is today's TMJ4 Live at 12. Wouldn't this be a great place for a national political convention? Right now at noon, the long-awaited news has come. Milwaukee will host the 2020 Democratic National Convention. A tweet sent out from Milwaukee's DNC bid account says Milwaukee's political moment has now arrived. They are also sharing that news on their website with a simple heading that reads, We Won. It was considered a long shot, certainly, but Milwaukee emerged as the winner. Again, Bruce City beating out Miami Beach, Houston, with much larger metro areas to land this big event. So that news came down just before about 10 o'clock this morning. The 2020 Democratic National Convention will be held July 13th through the 16th next summer. So not this summer, but obviously 2020. DNC Chair Tom Perez is on his way to Milwaukee. We anticipate a news conference with additional information this afternoon. Charles, you have been following this from the start. You know that uh, Perez also has some ties to Milwaukee. Could that have been a reason why we got the bid? Well, some people are going to say yes to that. I think uh, he knew Milwaukee and had some confidence in Milwaukee, but to say that was what closed the deal, that would surprise me because there's so much at stake to hold one of these events and just kind of pick a hometown team, knowing that there was some strong competition in Miami, Miami Beach, as well as Houston. But clearly Clearly a big win. We heard the comments from the mayor. He was talking at his morning breakfast, his state of the city, and kind of, you know, just sort of said, 
Boy, wouldn't it be nice if we had a convention here and an hour later he gets that call that he's been waiting for for weeks to see if it's going to be Milwaukee. This is clearly a big win for the city and the state, a big win for Democrats who are hoping to use this background, Milwaukee, to sell their narrative on why they should win in 2020. In fact, the DNC chair saying, if we're going to take back the White House and restore the guardrails of democracy and make government work for American families, we need to earn it, and they know that starts in Milwaukee. All right, we shall see. Now, Sean Gallagher is joining us live from Pfizer Forum, where the State of the City address was held earlier this morning. And when Mayor Barrett, as you mentioned earlier in our newscast, was kind of coy about learning about the news. Yeah, Shannon, it was very coy, but uh, he did the State of the City address right here at Pfizer Forum, and really the speech itself was no different than the one that he held last year, but that one was at the Northwestern Mutual Building, which was plenty of space for them to have a couple hundred people listen to that State of the City address. Really no reason to be here at Pfizer Forum other than to maybe flex their muscles a little bit in front of the DNC, give them maybe a little extra push to show, hey, we could host this if we wanted to. Now, Mayor Barrett was supposed to hold some media availability after after his state of the city address just to talk about that speech and we were told he'd be about five minutes and then it was 10 minutes and then I saw he was whisked away to an area of Pfizer forum where I couldn't see him but now we know what he was doing he was on the phone with Tom Perez and this photo that he tweeted out showed his excitement how excited he was to learn what had happened that Milwaukee would win the DNC now when the mayor uh, came back out to do his media avail availability it was to uproarious applause everybody already had seen the updates about it, but when questioned about the news, the mayor, grinning ear to ear, played coy. Well, I'm positive that that's not fake news. Uh, um, again, I, I, we will have a formal announcement later today um, as to what's going on. I, if in fact it's true, I am ecstatic. I am ecstatic if that is true. And, and my view is, um, this is this is a city that fights back, and 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 I think hosting the first ever political convention for a major party in this city's history is monumental. How much did today? Again, the city plans to hold a formal announcement in about an hour to announce that Milwaukee did win the DNC bid. But I spoke with State Representative David Bowen, who's also the vice chair of the state Wisconsin uh, Democratic Party, and he had his Democrat D pin on today and said that he felt pretty good about the whole situation. Always wear this pin? Um, sometimes I do. <laughs> I, I made sure to wear it today because I was hopeful. Uh, and I, like I told you before, I got the call. Uh, so maybe the pin did it. I yeah. don't know. We're going to have a really good time. Um, so I, I'm, I'm really hoping to confirm <laughs> that this is going to happen. But, oh, my goodness, I look forward to displaying the best of our, of our community, the best of our state, and Democrats uh, seeing that we have uh, the value and that we are the base of the Democratic Party. Now back out here live at Pfizer Forum, you can see completely empty now, but in a, about a little over a year, it's going to be a much different scene in here. Thousands can fill this place from all over the country, and Milwaukee going to host the DNC in 2020. They're all going to be able to experience everything Milwaukee has to offer, something Mayor Barrett was definitely very proud of when we spoke to him earlier today. In Pfizer Forum, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4. All right, Sean, and I will point out we do have confirmation of a 3 o'clock news conference this afternoon to officially announce this with DNC Chair Tom Perez. That just coming uh, across at about 1235. All right. Well, in the end, the conviction, convention, I should say, was between three cities, Milwaukee, Miami Beach, and Houston. Yeah, our Corrine Zell, let's go back to her live in our newsroom with why Milwaukee was able to beat out those other top contenders. Corrine? Vincent Shannon, Miami and Houston still believe they have the best cities to host the DNC. Miami media claims they were the best on paper, but the decision might have been just as personal as it was political. The Miami Herald says the Florida city was snubbed because of the deep ties Democratic National Committee Chairman Tom Perez has to Milwaukee, the city where he married his wife. The newspaper is reporting Milwaukee's new arena, Pfizer Forum, might have something to do with the committee's choice. Miami's arena doesn't have the amount of suites needed, even though Miami representatives did offer to make necessary renovations for the convention. Texas media outlets are reporting similar reasons for losing the bid. The Texas Tribune saying this is likely a way the Democratic Party is trying to take back Wisconsin. Remember, Wisconsin chose Donald Trump over Hillary Clinton during the 2016 presidential election. And before that, 
Democrats hadn't lost in Wisconsin since 1984. Both Miami and Houston still standing firm, saying their cities would have been a better choice for this type of event. Vincent Shannon? All right, well, they're old news today. Right. Sorry, not <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> right, right, right. We're back right after this. March is National Craft Month. You're invited to Ben Franklin Crafts to explore a huge variety of activities and find savings throughout the store. It's fun creating something new. Wow, Ben Franklin Crafts. Update your floors with Empire Today's $50 room sale. Buy one room, get floors for all other rooms for just $50 each. So when you buy one room, it's only $50 for laminate in the kitchen, $50 for carpet in the bedroom, and $50 for hardwood in the office. There's no limit. Buy one room and it's $50 for floors in each additional room. Schedule now. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE. Today, Hupi and Abraham has been voted best by the public year after year. Now, top media outlets have rated them best personal injury law firm. You only have one opportunity to call the best. Hupi and Abraham. I got almost four million dollars. Eight hundred thousand. If you've been injured in an accident, tell them you mean business. Call Hupi and Abraham. 800-800-5678. And get their win or it's free guarantee. A smile is a sign of hope. Our dental implants allow you to start a new chapter in life. Let Eon Clinics give you an inspirational smile. Call 844-365-SMILE or visit our website at eonclinics.com. Listen, I love to grill, but we don't always have time. Go get them. That's when Johnsonville Flame Grilled Sausage is perfect. Tastes grilled because Johnsonville already grilled it. So you get that famous Johnsonville flavor any night of the week. Jay, before you put your money on a racehorse, you have to check their track record. That's right, Rick. You should do the same with any company working on your house. Rhino Shield's proven track record is why tens of thousands of homeowners and businesses choose Rhino Shield over paint. With Rhino Shield, you'll never have to paint again. Check out our record and call by the 25th to get 25% off and a 25 year warranty. Never paint your house again. Rhino Shield! March is National Craft Month. You're invited to Ben Franklin Crafts to explore a huge variety of activities and find savings throughout the store. It's fun creating something new. Wow, Ben Franklin Crafts. We. We. We are Milwaukee. Where the workday starts early. Really early. Where morning people are getting it done. Where we take pride in our jobs and our community. We are Milwaukee. Where we love our neighborhoods. Where we love our hometown. Where we love our country. We are Milwaukee. Let's get today started. Today's TMJ4. Proud to be Milwaukee's morning news team. And for more perspective on the DNC's potential impact on Milwaukee, we're joined by Milwaukee Business Journal's editor-in-chief, Mark Cass. Thanks for joining us. Always good to be here. Thanks. All right. Well, we talk all the time, Mark, about the economic impact yeah. of, the, of these types of things. What are you hearing from the business community in terms of uh, what is out there for benefits and what might actually uh, cost them something? I mean, yeah. this is going to be a huge uh, influx. I mean, it really is. But, I, but, but I've been hearing all morning a, a lot of excitement. I mean, a lot of energy. A lot of, you know, I mean, this is a huge deal. It's going to be a huge deal for all the restaurants, huge deal for the retailers, huge for the hotels, obviously, who are already going to be booked probably already right now, already, I mean, an hour after it was done. I think it's going to be interesting to see kind of how f far out this goes. I mean, I think really that's the one thing I'm hearing. But in terms of the, of the, of the impact immediately, it's going to be. And, and then also I would think about kind of the spreading the impact. Think about the Uber drivers. Think about the Lyft drivers. Think about the, the bus people, drivers. people that plan events. Yep. Think about how many, how many events are are hosted here. I mean, this is not only about hotel rooms. Yeah. It's about every business in this area almost. So planners are even thinking about how planners. can I get a piece sure. of the pie? Think about it. It's going to be at, I mean, there's going to be, sp there's going to be spinoff events at restaurants at, on this, on these Summerfest grounds. Oh yeah. Grounds, yeah. On the lakefront, at hotels, 
everywhere. I mean, so, look, I mean, if I'm an event planner, I'm thinking yeah. this is going to be gold. Mm. I mean, you look at folks like the Bartolotta Group. You oh, yeah. Know, and and sure, they've the got venues. Right. Well, and, and if yep. they, 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 I'm sure they've had meetings, and if not, they're meeting today. But I will say to you that while a lot of people will be drinking champagne or maybe a beer mm -hmm. yep. uh, for this victory, yes. tomorrow it is get, get work. to yeah. work. Yes. It is a heavy lift. This is a big win for the city mm -hmm. but moving forward there's still a lot and in a very quick time think exactly. about it it's a very, i mean it's coming up it's only well, i mean just over 12 months away what do you think though for the small business owner right. the entrepreneur and will this be something that they can again get a piece of or I, is this going to just be for like big contracts you know, i think everybody can have a chance here because but you know i would just I, I would just have to be involved i mean just figure it out i mean again i mean if i'm a small if i if i'm a small kind of event planner i can be involved i can be i mean i can be involved at surge i can be a Bartoladas, anywhere like that. So I don't think it's only that, but I, but I also think it's everybody who can think about things to be involved here should be. Yeah. Real quick, Mark, we're almost out of time, but uh, any major changes infrastructure-wise? Uh, we talk about some hotel projects uh, that are sort of I think already about, partway there. The trolley could that I be think about the streetcar has got to be through because now because really all the way through to the lakefront. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it'll be all the way through the arena. Probably not. But that one, and then I would think about road work, anything that will make the city look better and easier to use. All right, Mark Cash from Milwaukee Business Journal and. Charles Benson, hanging out. You're a busy guy today. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have much more on the DNC coming to Milwaukee after the break. Tonight, when two coaches keep going head to head. Oh, Adam. Johnny, Johnny, John. <laughs> can the artist's decision be swayed? Who <laughs> do you pick as your coach? The Voice, tonight on NBC. Millions have discovered TV's newest hit. I betrayed my country. What are you doing? Why are you cooperating with us? I broke my daughter's heart. I'm asking you to help me make that right. The Enemy Within, tonight on NBC. At Menards, nobody beats our prices, so you can save big money on all your bathroom updates. Get huge savings on American Standard Toilets. The high-performance Titan Toilet has a powerful flush, $178.99. This encompassed tall, elongated toilet features an ever-clean surface, $198.99. Add a splash of color with Mohawk Ceramic Wall Tiles. 3x6 ceramic wall tile in two colors are $0.17 cents each. 12x12 12 12 random glass and stone mosaic tile is $8.99 each during Menards Think Spring Sale. Save big money at Menards. I'm making a big difference for everyone I touch. A rewarding career is possible. The new year is a perfect time to work on the new you. Let Herzing University make the difference. We have expanded our nursing program so you have more ways to earn your nursing degree. I'm raising my family and earning my degree. With Herzing, it's possible. I'm possible at Herzing. Prescription medications like antibiotics can help make us healthy, but sometimes they can upset our body's natural balance. Your Walgreens pharmacist can answer questions about your medication and help determine if taking a probiotic is right for you. Florigen probiotics can help restore the good bacteria your body needs to maintain its natural balance so you can feel better while you're getting better. Ask your Walgreens pharmacist about Florigen probiotics. Available at Walgreens Pharmacies nationwide. When it comes to women's health, think minimally invasive. The Reproductive Center is recognized nationally as pioneers and experts in treating fibroids, endometriosis, prolapse, and infertility. With a technique developed in Milwaukee by Dr. Ko, hysterectomies by laparoscopy are quicker, safer, and less painful, even for large fibroid tumors. Join the thousands of women throughout the world who have found treatment here with the best. Go to today's TMJ4's Health Connections for the Reproductive Center. Hi, I'm me. And that's me 30 days ago before I switched to Spectrum. With Spectrum TV, I get tons of HD and thousands of titles free on demand. With satellite, I have to have special equipment to watch on demand. Plus that dish on my roof. Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $89.98 a month. Call 833-271-8998. Spectrum Internet delivers speeds of 200 megabits. So I can surf, my wife can stream, and the kids can game. All at once. Our Internet can't keep up with all our devices. So I schedule all of our online time. I get every other Tuesday. Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $89.98 a month. Best of all, Spectrum bought out my old contract, making it easy to switch. Wait, what? Will they do that for me? Yeah. Because I'm you. 30 days from now. 
Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $89.98 a month. Plus, ask how you can save up to 40% on your wireless bill with Spectrum Mobile. Better services at a better price. Call 833-271-8998. Okay, 1249 now on this Monday afternoon, live look downtown Milwaukee where we have blue skies overhead, current temperature at 33 degrees, starting to melt away a little bit of snow. We're now above the freezing mark. We have mainly clear skies across the Midwest. Now, future forecast as we go through our day, we're going to have mainly clear skies, clear skies heading into tonight. Tuesday also looks good. Again, a lot of sunshine on the way for Tuesday. Now, eventually by Tuesday evening, more clouds roll in and a good chance of showers. Tuesday evening, Tuesday night, and right on into Wednesday morning. Things are looking soggy. So your forecast for today, we'll look for a high temperature of 36, mostly sunny for tonight. A low temperature that falls down to 18 degrees, getting chilly again tonight. Inland 13. Here's your seven day forecast. And along with the soggy weather, temperatures 48 degrees on Wednesday. Now, again, that rain chance Tuesday night into Wednesday, and then more showers possible on Thursday with a high of 58. Then back to the 30s by the weekend with a few flurries on Friday and again on Sunday. We'll be right back. Having basement problems? McCoy Contractors has repaired over 10,000 basements. If you have concerns, call McCoy. McCoy, the trusted name. If you like amazing deals, you're going to love our newest sale. Stop into Malkin's Flooring before March 31st and save big on Mohawk, the perfect carpets for families with kids and pets. At Malkin's Flooring in Menominee Falls, we're creating raving fans every day. Take 40% off beautiful upholstered Smith Brothers furniture. This is a very special factory authorized sale at Johnson's Home Furnishings on Highway 20 in Racine. Thanks to TCF Bank's easy lock and unlock debit card controls, you can focus on other security issues. Life is unpredictable. TCF Bank is here to help. Thanks to TCF free checking with mobile deposit, you can bank from home. And be there when your little helper needs a hand. Life needs your attention. TCF Bank is here to help. Wisconsin deserves fair and impartial courts, but that's not what they get from Judge Brian Hagedorn. He worked alongside an extremist hate group to try and strip hospital visitation rights away from gay partners. He got a free junket to Mexico while personally pocketing thousands from the hate group. And Hagedorn helps run a new school that bans students, teachers, and parents for being gay. Ask Judge Brian Hagedorn, with views like this, how can he possibly be fair? Are you an ocean? No. Are you edible? Uh. Can't sleep. Me neither. Oh, number one. Move. percent off beautiful upholstered Smith Brothers furniture. This is a very special factory authorized sale at Johnson's Home Furnishings on Highway 20 in Racine. If you like amazing deals, you're going to love our newest sale. Stop into Malkin's Flooring before March 31st and save big on Mohawk, the perfect carpets for families with kids and pets. At Malkin's Flooring in Menominee Falls, we're creating raving fans every day. When you see breaking news, call the Today's TMJ4 tip line or email news at TMJ4.com. Brought to you by Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Much more ahead here on the 2020 Democratic National Convention coming to Milwaukee. Days of Our Lives is next. Our next